Okay, good morning, everyone. It is me, your captain, and we're having tea. That's right, tea with the captain. I hope everybody's doing well. It's Sunday morning. It's a little after 10 o'clock, and once again, if you can see outside, it's snowing again. So we're kind of in for the day. I figured let's do the show now, get it done in the morning, you know, so I can go out and get the car cleaned up and try to do the usual cleanup, as, as you all can imagine. Okay, so a couple new shout-outs. Again, my friend Jack at Hops and Rye. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate that. Midlife Mima. Uh, Sam Lopez. Sam, I tried to film this in the other room with the backdrop that you requested, but it, there just isn't enough room in there, and, and that's really... Um, my wife's workspace, so I'm going to kind of keep in my own little world here. Uh, so I've got a lot of stuff to show you guys. We have a new mic. You know, we have to show him. Don't worry, I'll get to him. Uh, again, thanks, Silver Age Dave, Alex the Comic Book Quarter, um, Crime Alley Comics. Uh, Lindy, I hope you're feeling better. Good, you're welcome. Uh, and we'll get to the box that I made for Fiona. And all kinds of things. So basically, this has been an exciting week because it was the new mics. Hey, y'all, it's me, the new mic. Less feisty. Less feisty, y'all. I know you're talking about me behind my back still. I can feel it in my bones. Well, he's gotten a little less feisty, that's for sure. He certainly has lost some weight, hasn't he? Look at that. Yeah. Good for you, Mikey boy. Good to have you back in the fold as a different character. Now. So we took a little bit of an adventure yesterday, and we went to a place called um, Crazy Frank's. It's a flea market or antique place. You have them in your areas as well. Well, I have been eyeing up these two particular things for the whole time we've lived here. Hello and happy day, Dylan. Happy Sunday, Dylan. So for six years, I've been eyeing this stuff up, but I wasn't happy with the pricing. And it's not outrageous. Like, it wasn't like, oh, $50. But it was, you know. But what it is, it wasn't worth it. So, you know, I'm collecting and building these model kits again like I did before. Um, so I found this one, and I'll show you to you. So this is from Lost in Space, the giant monsters crashing a rock into the people. I kind of remember the chariot. Maybe that was a separate kit, and you just kind of put them together to make something out of it. So when you buy these things, if you buy them, and I only spent 10 bucks for this, make sure everything's in the pack. And you can see the whole thing in there. People, Space Family, Robinson, you know. Make sure everything is complete and sealed. Because, again, it's the box art, too, that's important. And for the condition of the boxes, I, if it wasn't 50% off, I would not have pulled the trigger. But it, you know, I have and make sure the instructions are inside so you can actually put it together. This one's not too difficult. And then there's advertisements for other ones that you can get. So this is by Polar Lights. I guess they got the old Aurora license. So I think they make that Godzilla too. I'm not 100% sure. But. And then the other one, which is I've been eyeing up, there was three of these, okay? Box, box, damage, box, damage, box, damage. I mean, this is pretty, pretty feisty. But I'm, I like the artwork. I want to display this. You know, look at the back, though. So I think I can maybe get some of the... I don't know. I'm not going to open this one up yet, but as you can see back here, this is still sealed, and that's the inside where you put the actual kit. In case you've never seen anything like them or built any of these things yourselves. So uh, I think that's all the shout outs. Everybody's good. All right, let's show Fiona's box, and I'll show you some more things that I picked up at the Crazy Franks and elsewhere. So. This one is for Fiona, and I was going to use that fantasy book that I showed you in my last video, but HBA, Haley, looked it up, and it's a $30 book. It, there's nothing ripped out of it. Those pages that fell out were from something else. So I'm not cutting that book up. I'm giving gifting that to Haley when we see each other, and that should be in person, all of us, I hope, knock on wood, weather permitting, of course. And that should be the 11th, I believe, or sometime, not next week, but the week after. So this is going to Fiona. I thought, well, she's a Wonder Woman, right? So here's the top of the box. It's pretty cool. I kept it simple. This is one of the boxes I spray painted in the summer that I had left over. I'll take the top off, too, so you can see better. 
That's awesome. Of course, Adam got that part and then this one here as well. She let me keep it just to so use it on the show. So here it is without the top so you can see everything better. Here's the Joker one. I like that. There's Wonder Woman and Superman. Joker there. That's awesome. Haley really likes this artwork as well. I'm trying to figure out what artist this is. If you guys have any clue, let me know. This was an advertisement in all those books I got from Walmart that I didn't I use for this, basically, because they weren't of any interest to me whatsoever. So, yes, but this artwork is really, really good. And it might have been a celebration because they used it for um, a Comic-Con advertisement. And I just thought it would look perfect on this box because she is a Wonder Woman. She's going through a tough time right now, but you know, you've got the support, you've got the friends. That's all that matters to help get you through anything. All right, so we've got that out of the way. Now, Mike there at the Crazy Franks bought me a couple of Batmobiles for the collection. Here's one. I like this one a lot. That's going to go up on the old shelf. And I will give you guys a tour next time because I'm, I'm working on this shelf, too. And I can get all these models up. It's another one he got me, like a, a Roadster or a Hot Rod Batman car. That's pretty cool. And then these are some of the other ones you could get in the back. Joker, Robin. Penguin. So that's cool. So these guys are definitely going up and out outside of the packaging and up on the shelf. They are pretty cool though. I might leave them. Now speaking of Batman. Oh, look at that, baby. Yes. Again, I waited for BAM on this. I'm not gonna spend whatever the hell they wanted, but I got it for 50% off. That's a good price. I'll give you a sample of some of the stuff in this book. And it's, I've been reading and it's really, really good. This goes all the way back to the golden age. Isn't that cool? Well, here, there's Neil Adams. And it talks about, you know, what character development, it talks about the artists, it talks about the writers. It's It's really, a great read a really really great read i recommend it and i think it was 19 dollars. so for 19 bucks proud to have that hanging on my shelf i really am all right and i did get a comic book there you know i said i wasn't gonna but you know i guess i am and the other i spent five dollars on this and i know i spent way too much for this book but bags are so cheap but I needed this one. I think I'm almost 100% sure that this is the last one I needed of these mask ones. There were so many of them, but I believe I have them all now. And this, let me get my glasses on. Let me see. So you're familiar with this Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo. Okay, so this is the uh, New 52 Batman. And it gives you all the different titles. Oh my God, I'm not done with this. Tracy 2012, 2013. So it's not a newer book. It's a couple years old. And then, you know, of course, you open it. I always want, love to have one of these from Fox Design. And that's the Red Hood. And I mean, yeah, the art's all right. It's pretty good. I love the back art though, that is really cool. So I don't know how it ties in, I've never read it. Maybe if I see it, I'll grab it, you know, and just read the whole thing if it's worth it. I'm sure it's all tied in. And then here's some figures. I mean, so it definitely shows you what time this stuff is. A holiday cat woman. There you go. So that was really the only comic book I bought because, again, I looked through. It, it's another situation there where if it's not on sale, they are charging retail, basically. They really are. And that's a shame because it shouldn't be that way. He had a comic in there that I really liked, but it was 20 bucks and it was maybe a 3.0. Maybe. You know what I mean? That, my friends, is not worth it. 
the money, unless it was something really cool. And it's, there isn't anything that cool. You can really ignore it that way. All right, so that's it pretty much, guys. I don't have much else to talk about. I hope you're all well. Again, I miss you, Miranda. Boy, oh boy, it's, that part's not good. I know you're moving up the line, and that's great, but it's, it's been lonely sometimes. But thank you guys for Haley, at least Wednesday through Friday for me anyway. All right. Well, everybody have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you all.